Okay guys, as you can see, it is storming out here today. And so I think this is the perfect day to sit back and relax in front of the TV watching the Hallmark Channel fall movies with a nice cup of pumpkin spice coffee and a pumpkin spice cinnamon roll. Hi guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. So today I'm so excited to participate in the pumpkin spice open collab 2018 hosted by Sweet Savant. So thank you Savant for hosting this collaboration. Guys, this was so much fun. So in this collab, um, Sweet Savant asked us to create a dish or something that is pumpkin spice inspired. So it could be a pumpkin spice drink, a pumpkin spice dessert, or dinner, or whatever you wanted to create, but it had to include pumpkin spice because we're celebrating the start of the fall season. So with that being said, I am excited to share with you guys my recipes for a pumpkin spice coffee and pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls. So if you're interested in seeing what I'll be making, then keep watching. Okay guys, so we are going to start with making a cup of pumpkin praline coffee. And as you can see that there, this is the flavor of the coffee curate pods that I'll be using. I'm also going to, after the coffee is done, I'm going to add some caramel sundae syrup and I also have some whipped cream and this pumpkin spice flavored topping. You can see that there is by the Zuka brand. So this is my first time trying this out guys, so I'll let you know my thoughts on it. But I picked it up from my local grocery store, so let's get started. Now that my coffee is ready, and I have to say, it smells delicious. So now I'm going to add one packet of sugar in the raw. And then after I add that, I'm going to add two of the Nestle Coffee Mate Vanilla Caramel Creamers. These are my favorites. And I think it's going to taste really yummy with this pumpkin spice coffee. So we'll go ahead and add that. And I need to get a straw, so I'll be right back. Okay. Now that I've added those items, and I wanted to find a fall straw, but this is what I could find, so that'll be fine. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my whipped cream. And I chose to get the extra creamy, but you can get the regular whipped cream or you can get light if you want to. It's totally up to you. But this is going to make it so delicious. Add a little cream in there. And I'm going to add my caramel sauce on top. delicious and now I'm gonna go ahead and add a few sprinkles of this Zuka flavored topping and the flavor is pumpkin spice and on the side here it does say that this sweet sugar topping is a blend of pumpkin spice vanilla and cinnamon that adds a special twist to your coffee muffins or donuts so let's sprinkle a little bit on top Oh, that looks so pretty let me move in a bit closer so you guys can take a good look. Okay, look at how delicious that looks in my Hello Fall cup. Okay guys, let's give this beautiful drink a try. Oh my goodness, this is so good. So, so good. The coffee is... Um, very bright. It's not a really strong coffee. I, I'm not much of a coffee drinker, but once we move into the fall of the year and the winter months when it's cold outside, then I do love a warm drink. And so I will have coffee 
and I especially love it when I do some fun toppings like this and so you don't really have to add much sugar or creamer because you have your heavy whipped cream and your caramel sauce on top so that adds more sweetener to it so this is so delicious guys I wish you could taste it and I wish you could smell the aroma in here also it smells so delicious and again with it raining and windy outside it's not cold but it's definitely wet and dreary this is the perfect drink to cozy up in front of the TV watching Hallmark movies <laughs> so now let's move on to making our pumpkin cinnamon rolls Okay guys, so for this portion of the video, um, to make the cinnamon rolls, these are the items that you will need. So we'll start with the pizza crust. So this is actually like pizza dough, but they're calling it pizza crust. So same thing. So you need one can of this. You need a round baking pan. You'll need some brown sugar, which I have here. Um, you'll need cinnamon, pumpkin spice, um, so this is pumpkin pie spice and like I said cinnamon here ground cinnamon you'll need vanilla extract you'll need cream cheese at room temperature and same with the butter you need room temperature butter and then I have some olive oil cooking spray for my pan to coat my pan and then I also have the same um, this uh, flavored sugar topping that I did with my coffee I may give this a try on the cinnamon rolls as well so I did bring this over alrighty so let's get this started
this is one of the most yummiest desserts that I have made thus far, especially something for the fall. So I have to say a big special thanks to Sweet Savant for hosting this collaboration. Excellent. Everything is so yummy and delicious. And I cannot wait to take a bite of my cinnamon roll. Actually, I think I'll go ahead and do that now. But I wanted to let you guys know that I will have all the details on um, for the recipe in my description box down below. Let's give this a try. Mm. Perfection. Oh my goodness. My husband already said this was really delicious and I had to just try it for myself to let you guys know how super yummy this really is. This is my first time making cinnamon rolls like this and so it was a lot of fun and it tastes excellent. So Again, thank you so much, Sweet Spot, for hosting this collaboration. It's been so much fun. Uh, I'll remind you guys to be sure to go over and check out her channel, as well as, as well as the playlist of all the other participants as well. Alrighty, if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you guys here. I hope that you've enjoyed this video enough to go ahead and click the subscribe button. And also, if you're my, oh, also be sure to click the bell so that you will receive alerts as to when I upload new videos. And for my faithful family members, thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. It truly means so much to me. And I will see you all on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.